Today I want to talk a little bit about arrays in C. An array is a variable type that stores a collection of similar items. So for instance, if you're writing a program to calculate the average scores for a class full of students, you have 100 students, rather than have 100 separate variables that represent each test score, you use an array and that's one variable but it has 100 spots in it to hold those things. So I'm going to go over a very simple eight element array of integers here, not in code, just um, in like a PowerPoint to kind of explain the principles. So simply stated, an array is a place to store related items. It might be a bunch of integers, as I say, it might be a bunch of floating points. So let's talk about a simple eight element array. Suppose you're a teacher and you have a class with eight students. They've taken a test and you're writing a very simple program to put in the results of the, each student's test and you're going to write some code to generate an average of the test, how many students got greater than 90, what the highest score was, what the lowest score was. So you need a place to put this data and that's where the array comes in. So you want an array where you can save eight integers for each person's test score. So how do you declare that in C? Well the way you declare that is thus. So you have int which is your variable type, then your variable name which I called test score, something halfway meaningful for what your project is, and then in brackets here you have how many elements you want that array to contain. So this says make me an array map out an area of memory where I can store eight integers. So what happens when the compiler executes this? What happens is the compiler allocates an area of memory sufficient to hold eight integers. So here you'd have the first element over here would be element zero. This would hold an integer here. All the way up to the eighth element which is element seven because it starts at zero. So element seven would be the last element here and that would also hold an integer. So now you've got an area blocked out in memory where you can save your eight students test scores. So how do you assign those values into the individual elements of the array? Well the syntax for that is like this. You have the variable name test score and then in brackets you have which element you want to access. So this says look at the variable called test score which is this whole array and I want to look at element 0 and I'm going to put 85 in that element. So when we did that it put this 85 into this memory location. Straightforward enough hopefully. So let's say your first student got 85, so you've put 85 in that location. Next student, he's a better guy or woman, got a 90. So you're going to put 90 in element 1, which is the next spot. So in C, this is how you assign a value to one element of an array. And you could go along here, you could say the next, next student got 68, so we put 68 in that element. So I'm going to skip 3, 4, and 5 because nobody wants to see every single one of these things. So you get towards the end. Let's say you have test score 6 equals 29. This person is not too bright, didn't do very good on the test. And finally the last person got a 71. So here you have your values loaded up into this array. Now you might think, well what happens if I do this? test score 8 equals 11. This almost looks like it should be okay because when we declared this array we declared it with an 8 in here. So if you're new and you just glance at this you might see well the eighth element I declared this to hold eight things so this is perfectly fine. Well that's not true because C starts at 0. So because C starts all its counting in things like arrays at zero, 
you've got 0 through 7, which gives you 8 elements. So the last element you can legitimately set is this element 7. Hopefully that's clear enough. So what happens though if you do execute this? If you do execute this, it will try to write this number 11 here into the memory location that's here, which is right here, and things will blow up. Because the computer is using this memory here for something else. There's probably other variables that you've declared, and they're sitting right here. So when you do this, when you put this value into this illegal array location here, you're clobbering whatever was here and writing over. So those can be very challenging errors to find because you can have where it looks like everything is running fine. You do some assignment like this, you don't get any error message or anything, but then somewhere down the road something doesn't work right and you can't figure out why because your value here has been clobbered or replaced unexpectedly. So that's something that you definitely want to keep an eye out for when you're doing arrays in C. Remember that they start at zero, so the last element is always one less than what is put in here. Now you can also do other operations. So say for this, if you said test score element one is equal to test score element two, what's this going to do? This is going to look at what is in element two of this array which in this case is this 68. It's going to take that value and it's going to put it in to test score element one. So in this case, it's going to take this 68 and put it in here. Or I should say copy it. It's not gonna do anything with this. So when you do that, what happens? The 90 goes away and it's replaced by 68. Now is this affected in any way? Is element 2 affected at all in this operation? It's not because since this is on the right side of the equal sign, all it's doing here is accessing what is in this memory location. So it's going to test score 2 here, grabbing that value reading that value, 68, and putting 68 into location 1, which is this. So that is basically the introduction to arrays in C. Um, a simple introduction just with integers, but you know, you've got to get these concepts down with the simple stuff before you move on to the more complex stuff. If you can kind of get this in your head, that this is how you visualize this, that an array is actually a physical chunk of memory that you're reading and writing from. It can help you a lot going forward if you kind of get this feeling in your head rather than just thinking about brackets and numbers. Think about what it represents in a physical sense and it will make it much easier for you to debug what's going on and especially when we move on to pointers in C. Pointers can be very confusing for people at first in reality, all a pointer is, that's why I put these arrows here, a pointer is a different type of variable, and all a pointer is, is a variable that points, hence the name pointer, points to a memory location. So I don't want to go into that today, but pointers and arrays are kind of related because they're dealing with individual memory locations. And if you get this kind of in your head of how this how this works at a physical level, so to speak, you'll be much better off. So there you go, introduction to arrays in C.